Hello everyone. I am doing a meal prep. Uh, it's going to be for tonight and then I realize it's going to be way too much for two people so I'm going to be freezing half of it. Not a problem. I love leftovers and they will go on the menu because around here every Thursday night is leftovers from the week and um, that'll be next week's leftovers because I already have leftovers planned for tomorrow. So that's what we're doing. And um, I'm making something I've never made before. Swedish meatballs. Um, I did throw out what I thought was just ground beef. It ended up being the meatball mix, which is a combination of beef, veal, and pork. And that's what I get for not labeling it. But it's okay. Um, I got this recipe from my mom's cookbook. It was the, a very old Fanny Farmer cookbook. Must have been from the 40s or 50s. Basically, it's like a pound or a pound and a half of ground beef. Um, they're saying six, um, I use a little less, so they say uh, six slices of bread broken up and half a teaspoon each, allspice, nutmeg, salt, pepper. And then you form them into meatballs. I made them, I made them kind of small because I think that that's just the way they're supposed to be. <laughs> and um, they're not the little tiny soup ones, but um, they're not the bigger ones I make for macaroni and meatballs. So I shaped them all, and I have a little bit of olive oil heating up, and it says to lightly brown them. So here I go. I'm going to start putting them in. Uh, I got one in. I always test one, and if it doesn't sizzle, then I know not to put the rest in. Um, so that olive oil is getting a little hot. Now, I know I could have baked them, um, or just did them in a buttered skillet, but I just think the olive oil is just a little better. Yeah, that's starting to go. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking now I could have just baked these in the toaster oven or in the oven on a cookie sheet. But because I never made them before, I don't know how they're going to come out. So I want to follow the recipe as much as possible. Want to always make sure you have enough room to move them around. And now uh, I'm going to add two cups of broth to my crock pot, beef broth, which I have. And I will add, um, oh, this is chicken gravy. I need to get out brown gravy or I can just make my own. So I'm going to be adding that to it. I will, um, I'm going to have some boiled rice and I'm going to just season it with seasonings and herbs. That's it. I think it's going to be really nice on the side. And I am going to be steaming some, probably some broccoli or, um, yeah, I think I'll do a green. I need a green. So, um, that's going to be dinner. Uh, possibly a salad. It depends on how hungry we are. This thing is really going. Yeah, it's going good now. So I'm going to go give these a quick swirl. Let's see what they look like. You're going to do this very gently. I know this from when I fry meatballs because um, you're going to just be very gentle. You just want to brown them uh, because then they're going to go in the crock pot. So I'm used to doing this because I always brown my meatballs and then um, let them cool and then a little bit. Because if you put hot meatballs into a hot gravy, they'll fall apart. So I'm kind of used to messing with them. Obviously, you should have got a bigger frying pan, no? <laughs> but, yeah, I'm surprised that the ingredients for this are just so simple now. I know some people use some kind of wine sauce. Um, and I don't, I don't keep alcohol in the house. I just don't like it. And uh, I don't like the taste of any of it, so... Nobody I know even drinks, so I just don't have wine in the house. Once in a while, masala or cooking wine if I'm making veal or chicken masala. But. So I'm going to let these brown. I'm going to put them on a plate on some paper towel and let some of the oil, olive oil drain off of it. I'm going to put my broth into the crock pot and, um, and that's it. I'm going to let that simmer. 
I'm going to, um, I might do, what I might just do is half broth, like equal parts of broth and brown gravy. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to let it simmer. I was going to put mushrooms in it, but I have mushrooms in the beef soup from last night. That was, by the way, was absolutely fantastic. That was like one of the best soups I ever made. It was made from bones from a T-bone steak. So it was really good. And um, a lot of meat in there and the broth just had such a great flavor. But I do have more canned beef broth. So I'm just going to add some equal pots mm -hmm. of broth and uh, brown gravy and the rice and um, and the broccoli. Unless I come up with another veggie. I might want to do something different. So maybe not broccoli. But um, I'm going to post a picture. when I. By the time this video goes up, the thumbnail will have a picture of my, my completed Swedish meatballs that I ever made for the very first time ever. I'm hoping they come out really good. All right? So we're going to see what happens. All right, guys? Say a prayer. Catch you next time.